What's going on, guys? It's Brew Review Time. I'm your host, P Dog. Or Preston, honestly. You can literally call me whatever you want to. P Dog's just, you know, just a fun way to liven things up a little bit, right? Um, anyway, um, so today, hope everybody's having a good Sunday. You know, it's the day before Monday. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, hope everybody's having a good Sunday. I know I am. NASCAR started back today. I'm watching Daytona 500, got it on. So if you see me doing this, it's cause shit's popping off. Those left turns get to you once in a while. Um, but anyway, you know, I had burgers earlier at the grocery store. I was like, ah, let's go ahead and do a beer review. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but I was like, nah, let's do it today. Get everybody hyped for their Mondays. Um, so I was walking around, walking through the beer aisle, most important place in the Harris Teeter. And um, I came across the New Belgian Brut IPA. So it's part of their Up Next series, um, which is just, uh, every beer company does it. They have like their rotating beers. This is one of them. Um, it's 6.7% alcohol. It was 10.99 for a six pack. Um, side says bubbly, dry, crisp, refreshing. Root IPA is inspired by our favorite sparkling wines with hints of tropical fruits and champagne. I fucking hate champagne and wine is questionable. So this Everescent Brew is the perfect cheers to the new year. Because of champagne. I get it. Um, anyway, that's interesting to me because I don't know how the fuck you do that with beer. Whatever, though. Um, also, don't change beer. Who the fuck changes beer? Don't be putting champagne and shit in my beer. You'll piss me off. Also, I bought this. I didn't know what it was. Okay, I had no idea. So I went online and started looking up things about it. I was like, these beeradvocate.com channels and all that. And somebody had the audacity to say, this taste looks and smells like Coors Light. I'll be the judge of that. Um, so how dare they? Audacity of people. Also, in honor of the race today, though, I am drinking Miller Lite for um, Brad Keselowski. So although he's not driving that fucking car today, Jack and he's also in like the 30s. Stupid as hell. Anyway, let's pop the top. Let's pop bottles. Smells like no Coors Light I've ever smelled in my life. I smell more like Coors Light than this does. We'll see about everything else here in a second. From the smell, it's not gonna taste like it either. But anyway, I actually have glasses that are yingling glasses though. And this is what I use as my glassware. I have a 24 pack. I have 24 of these bitches in my, in my cabinet. So, um, it will actually be able to see the, see the color today. Oh yeah. Oh, oh baby. Oh, a little bit, a little bit too much head, but look at that. Look at the color. The color is on point with cores. I mean, it's pretty close. It's a little darker, but it's it's on point. Oh, look at that. Look at that. A little bit too much head, but maybe just a little bit less. I don't know. I don't know. It does look like champagne. The bubbles and stuff, you really can't see it in the camera, but the bubbles and stuff, there are bubbles like floating through this motherfucker. It does look like champagne in the bubbles also. All the bubbles of fucking foam. How it tastes like course like. Um it is kind of fruity though. That's got a fruity taste to it. That's actually pretty good. As a 1099 beer goes, I would buy that again, honestly. But it being the whole the the bubbly and stuff, all that, I could see this being a summer drink. Why they released it at New Year's is weird to me. Because it's very it is crisp. Like it, it's got that crisp taste. It's very refreshing. Uh it's not refreshing as a course, because course is water. Um, but it does have a good taste. This is definitely one of the drinks you would sit around the back porch on like a summer night around a campfire or whatever, fire pit or whatever, and drink this and talk shit. That's like what this is. Like, you know how moms have like wine night? This is like a dad's like, let's get fucked up with the boys. Like, if you get fucked up off six beers. But this is good. I actually like this. I would right. buy that again. As far as my rating for this goes, let me go ahead and tell y'all about my ratings, okay? Because I had some people ask me or kind of talk to me about this, some of my friends. Um, when I rate stuff, let's 
I, I kind of put it in their own category. Like last week when I did the Steel Reserve, don't think I put that with Shotgun Betty, and I'm def like definitely going to put that with this. That damn Steel was $1.90 for a 24-ounce can. I don't put them in the same category, so don't think I'm comparing them like, this is like apples to oranges kind of thing, all right? So like with this, I might kind of put this with the Shotgun Betty, just because like as far as price goes, they're obviously not the same thing. It wasn't an IPA, this is. Um, but I just want to clear the air on that, that I'm not, I'm not comparing them like, at, putting them in the same category. Everything's in their own category almost, all right? So don't think I'm not like that stupid, like, oh, this is like, oh my God. <laughs> This is the same thing as fucking steel. What? Is this Ice House? Like, I don't do that. Is this Natty Light? <laughs> Whoa, bro. I don't fucking do that. So, just clearing the air on that real quick. As far as my rating goes, that's gonna get a, that's gonna get a high one because it's good. It is good. I suggest I suggest buying this. I'm saying an eight point two. That's that's pretty good. That that's it's on point. Like. Of the three I've tried so far, that should be the one you get before the other ones. Um, I would definitely get it again. So, but there you have it. There's a brew review for uh, this Sunday. I hope everybody has a wonderful Monday. Um, whether it's work, school, or whatever it is, you know, try to make the best of it, okay, people? Come on. You know, be happy. You know, Bob Marley just sang it right. Like, don't worry, be happy. Um, but I'm going to continue watching this race. I might get a little drunk and have to eat some cheese it's here in a little bit. But everybody have a nice night, you know. Cheers.